They're just completely gone. You're saying thunder, hey, hear, heal, whatever. These things that he was just demonstrating that he kind of understands or should have a better grasp than what was happening there. We get those feet moving again, just move them and then boom. It's like hitting control, alt, delete or restarting the computer, you know, just turn it off, turn it back on, it'll be fine. Hey everybody, Ethan here with Standing Stone and we've got another video with Thunder. If you haven't watched already, we did a video talking about proper healing position and how to teach your dog to get into that. I showed you, he didn't look perfect. He did a good job though. And I said, I'm gonna do, I said it in my head, didn't say it to you, but I'm gonna do a few more sessions and then I wanted to do another video kind of to show progress and how we could progress. Well, as usual, this guy took drastically less sessions than I expected. This will technically be his third session that we're about ready to start. The first session being the one that was on video, the second short session you didn't see, and now we're into the third session. I figured it would have taken me a week or two to get there. No, it took a session or two. So. We're gonna get started warming him up, similar to what we did before. This is uh, the drill that we'll circle um, essentially clockwise and work on just the healing position as we go around. And then we'll make the same movement in reverse, which is going to help that swinging into the proper position behavior. All right, here, good. No, yeah, here, take that, good, good. Uh, uh, uh. You see a lot more focus than the last session that we started outside. Good. Good. Right here. That luring, right? You're seeing me use my hand a lot. This is, he's got his eyes locked on it, right? That's a really good way to pull focus. Now we're going to do the same thing in reverse. I'm going to be switching hands here and I will take this step backwards. He can follow here. Good. You can see how much better that is. If you didn't watch the first video, you need to go back and watch it so that you can see this level of improvement. Again, the luring type behavior. I have nothing in my hand now, but I can take this step and say, heal, good. Now, the click, we talk about this a lot, it marks and ends the behavior. So although I want him to be in a healing position, the expectation to stay in that perfect healing position after I've clicked is not there. If we need him to stay for a longer and longer period of time, we need to actually hold that click for the duration, essentially, of what we're looking for. We build off of those things in small steps. Let's do a few more reps. Hey, hey, hey. You heard me say it one time. Good. Heal. Good. Now we're starting to get a behavior that's consistent enough. Heal, that we can introduce the cue. Good. Heal. Now, if you remember from the first session that we did, um, there was a lot bigger movement, like I had to guard him all the way around. We don't have to do that anymore. We're able to make this movement more and more subtle. Work it out. Ready? Heal. You can see a lot more movement happening out of him. Good. Heal. Now, right here, heel, good. I want that position to be right on, not cocked out to the side. Heel, good. Okay, now we're gonna introduce our lead back into this situation. So now, I've got the old thunder butt on a leash, and I'm going to work on this specific behavior again. It's going to be Heel, good. And this is what I would move into as a two-step, essentially, healing drill. And by two steps, I don't mean there are two parts, but you're taking two steps, okay? This is gonna help with the movement aspect of stuff for him. We would say, if you've got a dog that's here, um, you need him to get into position, you can move forward a little bit and then heel. And if you count those, it's essentially one, two steps forward, one, two steps back, heel. And you can see how this movement with him moving forward and backward 
almost ends up being kind of a figure eight type of thing, but he's essentially able to swing into that heel. Now let's say you have somebody that's half cocked like this standing in front of you, which we've been working a lot on not doing that. So it's gonna be more of a struggle now. He's smart, but this is the position. A really good, easy way to kind of help get your dog back into that is the two-step process. You can do either two steps forward or two steps back, depending on the situation. In this one, we can go two steps back, hi, 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 and then two steps forward, good. And then he's right back where he needs to be. Nice job, buddy. So again, two steps back here, two steps forward, good boy. Showing him exactly where we want him. Then incorporate into this session where we're getting really good heel. What do you smell in there? All right, enough. Enough. Heel. Good. And then kind of incorporating all of it in together. And we would essentially thunder. Heel. No. Heel. Something is on my pant leg that is fancy, isn't it? Stop it. Heel, right here. Come on. Good. Good boy. Then incorporate again. <laughs> what is it? We get some donuts smeared on there or something. Um, then we can work on just the behavior itself. Again, asking thunder, thunder, using our hand cue again as the lure. Thunder, heel, no. No. Heel. Hey, hey, hey. Heel. Thunder. 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 He says, I'm, I'm there, Dad. I'm there. Let's move his feet. Anytime you feel like, all right, this is going to happen a lot. It happens with dogs all the time. Their brains are directly attached to their feet. And if it, sees, if it seems like they've shut off, right, they're just completely gone. You're saying, Thunder. Hey, here heel, whatever. These things that he was just demonstrating that he kind of understands or should have a better grasp than what was happening there. We get those feet moving again, just move them and then boom. It's like hitting control, alt, delete or restarting the computer, you know, just turn it off, turn it back on. It'll be fine. That's the same thing that's happening here with their brains. Again, hey, heel. Nice job. Much better. I don't know what is on my leg, but you're definitely interested in it. Ugh. Good. Now, let's incorporate a little bit of everything into this. Um, heel. Good. You can see how much better this is getting than originally when we started in that first video. Heel. He's walking by my side. Good boy. Heel. Nice. Good. Good job. Okay. I want to do just a couple more reps here, working on this specific position, and then that's actually gonna end the session. Good. Heel. Good. Looking for more and more and more uh, specifics here on exactly how this needs to look. Getting pickier, that's the key. Heel. Heel, come on. Good. Even that, like he kind of stopped out there, it was just a little encouraging that movement away encourages him to come closer, and then he created this much better, much more direct look to everything. Folks, that's just an update on how this can look, how this can, pro can progress, excuse me. You can see again, he's still not perfect, but he's doing a drastically better job in a short amount of time. It's the power of utilizing positive reinforcement and training. Folks, I'm the guy with the pink gun. This is Thunder. We will keep you posted on his progress, and give us a thumbs up or comment down below if you tried this with your dog and it worked. We'll see you in the next video.